Hey there, I'm Jen, the board game librarian, and today we're going to take a look at a couple of titles from Brain Games. First up, we have Picoco, a delightful trick-taking game for three to five players, ages 10 and up, 30 minutes. In Picoco, you have a peacock with all of your cards in there, that is your hand, but you can't see the cards. It's got that Hanabi flavor going on where other people are picking your cards for you. What I like about Pococo is that it has a betting that it's going on and you're not betting on how many tricks you're going to win. You're going to bet on how many tricks you think other people are going to win based on the cards that they have in their peacock. I really love this game. I love the table presence on it. Um, I'm a sucker for trick taking games as well. And I think this is a really great addition to the lineup. I, my only sadness is that it doesn't play at two players. Um, so it's harder for me to get to the table, but I still love Picoco and think it's a really great recommend from me. One of our favorite dexterity games has to be Ice Cool. In Ice Cool, you are either playing as the Hall Monitor or one of the Penguins skipping class. The wonderful thing about Ice Cool is that the entire setup for the game is in the boxes right here. You don't have to worry about anything else. Um, the next two games really, I think, are wonderful themes, and especially if you're a penguin lover, um, which can be anyone from a small child or someone my age, um, it's a wonderful theme that a lot of people can really get into. Ice School plays two to four players, and is ages eight and up, and has about a 30 minute playing time. It's a great introductory dexterity game, and it's one of the ones I recommend all the time at the library. I think it's great for children children who are first learning dexterity games or even adults who've never played a dexterity game before. Um, in this game you are looking to collect the most points from the fish that you have gathered. iSchool has wonderful opportunities for tricks. If you take a look on the internet there's all kinds of wonderful pictures and videos of people doing amazing trick shots with iSchool. Um, you'll want to be careful though because the penguins are harder than you think they are. Um, you know, you're going to get um, some fish when you make it through one of the doorways, but you have to make sure that you're avoiding the hall monitor, otherwise the hall monitor uh, steals your school ID card. After a certain amount of rounds, the player with the most fish is the winner. Ice Cool, again, is great, um, not language dependent, and I think you can really be any age from 3 to 93 and play Ice Cool and have a really fun time with it. And finally, Pyramids of Peng Queen. This is one of our surprise hits from Gen Con last year. Two to five players, ages eight and up, 40 minute playing time. My husband loves hidden movement games and Pyramid of Peng Queen has that. In this game, you are playing either as the penguins, the adventurers, or as the mummy, and you're trying to catch the penguins. It's a double-sided board with magnets, and you are moving your penguins along on a track and you can see where the mummy is going as well. As a mummy, you're looking to capture the penguin's light and therefore win the game. Playing as the penguins, you are looking to uh, fulfill all of your treasure requirements and there you can win the game. This is one that <laughs> I really enjoy playing, but I'm so terrible at it. Again, my husband's wonderful at hidden movement games, so he always seems to catch me wherever I am. Um, this is a game that I have taught to five-year-olds, I've played to people in their 50s, and not a single person has disliked this game. I think it has a really great entry um, level to it where you know you can be a very casual gamer, you can be a, an experienced gamer, you can be a five-year-old kid and have a blast playing this. Uh, when I've seen children playing this game, they really love moving their penguins around and it teaches them wonderful um, deductive reasoning and kind of those skills um, about thinking outside of the box. Um, both of these I recommend a lot at the library. I, I think the penguin theme again really sells it for people um, and I like that they're both in the same universe. 
thank you for watching our video today and I'd like to thank Brain Games for donating Pyramid of Pen Queen and Pococo to my library. Thanks and we'll see you next time.